Hello everyone, Ardaramus here. Um, I was asked recently by viewer Jack PS9 if one could make a custom window using an image with transparency, kind of like we were using in the games. And the answer is yes, and I thought that that would actually be a great little uh, demonstration to do on YouTube here. So if you'll follow along, uh, we'll go ahead and create one of these from scratch. Um, first thing I'm going to do is open up GIMP Photo Editor. It's a free graphics program that you can download. Open source, good stuff. Um, first thing I will do is create a new file. I'm just going to make this a, oh, I'm going to say, ah, that's too big, 420 by 380 image. Hit OK. So here what we will do is select the part that we want to be visible as our uh, custom form. I'm going to go ahead and use rounded corners. And what we're going to want to do uh, is turn off anti-aliasing because what that will do is smooth the corners out on your form. And if those Basically, they become semi-transparent, which will not show up in Visual Basic when you bring in the PNG file. So we'll turn that off to make sure that the edges are sharp and crisp. Uh, I'm going to use my little selector tool here to create this rounded selection. I'm just going to grab it like this, let her go. Uh, my corner radius is kind of low here, so it's not very round. Uh, smooth it out just a little hair. Alright, then what I will do is use my fill tool. I'm just going to fill that with a black background. Very simple, like that. And I'm going to grab a little paintbrush here, a little, uh, what is that, airbrush tool. Get a fuzzy circle and spray in some red paint. And make my brush a little bigger here that big. There we go. I'm just going to kind of fill in a bit. And I'm going to shrink that down a little. Uh, there we go. Grab some dark orange for fun. I'll grab this little brush here. Get a little texture make a little this is totally unnecessary but I just thought it'd be fun to do it um, grab a little lighter shade hit the center and I'll switch back to a fuzzy brush and throw some white in the middle there and shrink down again I don't waste too much time on this Now, I'm going to take, take my smudge tool here and just bring in some nifty edges here. Try not to grab it too far out or what will happen is you'll grab that white area from the outside and, and control Z get rid of that. So just kind of stay within your little selection area. Try to get kind of a cool effect here. You can see it's an art tutorial too, how about that? Now what I'm going to do is grab this uh, select color tool. I'm going to click in this white area. We're going to turn that into our uh, transparency area. So I'm going to select it. You can see that it selected, selects only the white area. Then I'm going to go to colors and color to alpha. And it'll bring up this box. And what you'll see is this checkered background that is indicating that anything that is this color is going to become transparent. So we do that, and now we have a transparent uh, edge 
around our window. So I'm going to say select none. Just for kicks, I'm going to throw in a little text here. Uh, we'll make a login window. That'll be fun. Probably make that a little bigger. Select my text and grow it a bit. And I'm going to grab my mover and whoops, I'll move that in the background. Move that right up there. Try to eyeball the center roughly. Okay, so we have an image for our custom window. I'm going to uh, export that to a PNG file. I'm just going to call it uh, nova.png. I'm going to save that to my desktop. Export it. <clears throat> I'm just going to keep the defaults here. All right, I can close out a GIMP. I'm not going to save my image now. I will um, create a new project in Visual Basic, and I'm just going to do a simple Windows Forms application. I'm going to call it Custom Form, and hit OK. So we get a new form here. And I'm just going to set the dimensions of that form to, um, sorry, I already did that up there where you can see it. I'm going to set the size of the form to the size of the image I just created. So that was 420 by 380. All right. Then what I will do is come up to my form border style. I'm going to set that to none. I do not want a border around my form. Uh, you'll notice that that got rid of my control box, but you can turn that off anyway. I set that to false and also uh, set my form text to nothing here. Next up, we can give it a uh, background color so it's easy to see. Um, I'm just going to grab something a little darker here because this whole area will become invisible. Uh, just nice as a little contrast against our image that we're going to put here. So we'll grab the background image and then what we're going to do is browse out to that PNG file that we created with the alpha layer. Uh, let's see, so I'm grabbing Nova and there it is. Bring that in and you'll notice that that uh, background color is showing properly um, through the edge of our image. Next up, what we can do, grab a couple of command buttons for giggles. Take that one. I'm just going to call that uh, submit. And then I will copy it. I'm going to do a control C and a control V to paste it. And uh, I'm going to take that one, call it um, cancel. All right. And what login screen is complete without a text box? So go to my text box control, bring that in. That'll be our username box. Make sure those line up. And I'm going to copy that. Make a matching password box. So I'm going to change the font on that a little bit for fun. Set it to about a 16. Go ahead and make it bold. And I will center the text. Let's see, text align. Set that to center. All right. And you know what? I'm just going to delete this second one and recopy and paste that. There we go for the password. Now, you can actually set a password box. Um, you know, so it hides the characters as you type. And that property is password character. 
you know, you could throw in like a, you know, an asterisk in there, and uh, use system password character, uh, you could do that, just set that to true, and now, if we display this, we can see our gray box, not very, not a very nice form yet, but we're going to fix that. Just going to te test that. All right, so we got a nice password field. Cancel does nothing yet. So let's double click on our cancel button. We'll just put end in there. That will close our application if we want to. And now what we want to do is make this gray area transparent. So what we'll do is double click on the form, come in here and we'll say me dot transparency key equals back color. And let's go ahead and run it. Oh, you can't see it. I'm going to have to put that center screen here. Sorry about that. We'll change our startup location here. Um, start position to center screen. You should be able to see that now. All right. So we now have a custom login screen and if it were a, you know a game we hit submit and it would log us in check our name and password against the database and verify it or if you wanted you could cancel and end your application and that's really all there is to it uh, as you can see everything is invisible around the edges and you can see right through it's pretty awesome we have created a custom form i hope this was helpful uh take care have fun <laughs> bye, -bye.